Tom, yeah, yeah. Step brother? Right, step brother, right? Yeah. Step brother, right? No. Is uh Holden and him step brother? Four brother. What are you yeah, on? Right yeah, now? Holden's right there. There's Holden. They're ranked third in the state. Y'all haven't game. lost yet, right? Y'all haven't lost the game in forever, have y'all? Captain's Day for the Harm Hornets, number 12, Brown, number 22, Brown, and number 33, Jamori Walker. For the opponent's team, Wallace Park, we have number 8, Darius Murray, number 4, Mario Jennings, and number 2, Wiggles and number 10 Justin Brown be a game of the week for NWGYFL big game for the Hornets as they take on Wallace Park Falcons Harm Hornets are undefeated this year so far great start off for them We're at the coin flip in the middle of the field. Nobody knows how to operate this one. Nobody up here knows how to operate this one. Uh, I know how to stop and start it. Uh, that stop yeah, and start. I got to reset it. Bro. Oh. Uh. Wallace Park selects to receive on the toss that they just won. Harm Hornets will be taking the field on the 40 to kick it off. It's going to be a great game here today. We have the 115 D1 Harm Hornets and 115 D1 Wallace Park Falcons. Be taking on each other today. We have number eight for Wallace Park Falcons deep, and number two Wiggles that will join them back there. Looks like Harm Horn is set up for an onside kick. Number 48, Luke Tanner, sets the kick off the ball. Be first quarter, 10 minutes. A little controversy to get this game started here today. Today with me I have Miles. The, my main man here, my right hand man, he'll be calling the game with me today. They get an onside, and it looks like number three, Thomas, for the Harm Hornets, gets the ball. And it looks like it went 10 yards. 
Looks like Hiram Hornets will get the ball. Great job by the Hornets. Wallace How are you Park. doing today, Chandler? I'm doing fantastic. How about yourself, Miles? Great day for football. I'm it sure great. is. That was just a fantastic kick. It looked like he should be in high school already. Yeah. Let me check that birth certificate. Great kick Better by 48, me. Luke Tanner. It's going to be Harm Hornets ball on the 50. Wallace Park a little confused on that onside kick here. Harm Hornets. How's the game started yet? Harm Hornets came out to play. The offensive coordinator, Coach Thompson, calling in the plays today. Number two, their quarterback, Javen Watley, since 15, Ashley. Oh, he's got Oh, he he's sets the run. edge, and he's going to take it for a first down. Oh. Four, fighting for yardage. It's great, always good to see. Great the run. Ones. Great run. It was a good block on the outside over there. It's going to be a first down and 10. Harm Hornets coming out answering quick. Wallace Park. Not sure if they're ready to play yet. Harm Hornets come ready to play. They set the field again with Javen Watley at quarterback and shotgun number 21, Campbell. Miles Campbell, his running back. He sends number six, Jalen Marshall in motion. He gets the edge. He gives a stiff arm, and he's pushed out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Great it's going to be another first down for the Harm Hornets. This way to... Run game's looking good today. Running game will set up their pass today. Looks like they're going to be a quick on the ball again. Number two, Javen Watley and shotgun. We have a timeout by Wallace Park. Wanting to get their heads in the game. Harm Hornets come out quick answering with two first downs back to back. Coach Thompson calling the game for the Harm Hornets for the offense. It's going to be a timeout on the field. We are, you know. I won't be calling for Georgia, baby. <laughs> no. I want to tell you that far. Hey. Not me. Oh, no, we are. Down to the 50. Oh, 40. <laughs> Back and resume of play. Harm Hornets come quickly to the ball. Number two, Javen Watley. At quarterback, number 21, his running back, Campbell. To the side of him, they line up in a shotgun formation, balanced shotgun formation. He sends 15 to the motion, the trips left. He gives a handoff to Campbell to the left. He breaks Bounces a few outside. tackles. Bounces outside. Oh, no, he gets to the edge. He breaks another tackle, and he's finally tackled at the 8-yard line by number 2. Of the Wallace Park down. named Wiggles. Great saving play for the Wallace Park there. Another first down. Hiram Hornets came ready to play today, Miles. They did. Hiram Hornets running a hurry up offense. Javen Watley in shotgun. Since number six in motion will hand off. He tries to set the edge. He gets cuts back. Gets to about the two-yard line, and Hiram second Hornets goal. wanting to answer quickly. It's going to be second and goal. Almost a minute remaining still. We a minute gone. Nine minutes remaining in the first quarter. Trips left. They send 15 in motion. Oh, oh there's a fumble. Javin Watley gets on the ball as soon as the ball came out of 15's hands. That could have been a big, devastating 
play for the Harm Hornets as they get on the ball there. It'll be a third down and goal. Big stop here for Wallace Park. Falcons. No hesitation. They get right back on the ball. Javen Wiley sends number six in motion all the way across the formation. Hand off to number 21. Up the gut. Oh, and he is stuffed by number 42. But he gets in. But before number 21... Miles Campbell sticks the ball in the end zone. It's going to be a 6-0 to zero lead with 8 minutes and 22 seconds left in the first quarter. Harm Horns come out quickly answering. They come out shotgun formation here. A little counter to the left. Number 15. He gets in. Sticks it in for the Harm Hornets. Nakia Ashley on the run there. Great physical run. Sticks it in. It's going to be 8-0. to zero. A quick lead for the Harm Hornets as they answered off the onside kick. They got right back with 8 minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Wallace Park doesn't look like they came ready to play, but we'll see how they go on their kickoff return here trying to get their offense established. Harm Hornets take the field on the 40 yard line. Number 48, their kicker for the Harm Hornets, Luke Tanner sets up the ball for another onside kick. Remember they recovered it last time. They're looking to put them out early. It's a minute 38 to go. Quick, you know what I'm saying? Quick score. 48 sets back to kick off. Luke Tanner kicks the ball, another onside. It goes to the 10-yard line, but it's finally picked up by number 53 for Wallace Park. Kendall, Kendon Arnold, great play there for Wallace Park. They're able to establish their offense now, starting on their own 50, wanting to cross this line here to see if they can get anything going against the Harm Hornets defense. Wallace Park breaks the huddle. Number eight, their quarterback, Darius Murray, gets under center. A little split back formation. A little quarterback Lucky. sneak. Oh, and he's stuffed by 15. Ashley, of the, his last name, sticks. Number eight, Darius Murray. A gain of three. It'll be a second down and seven. The Wallace Park Falcons. Wallace Park, Darius Murray, quarterback, runs over to the coach to get the play. Already set. They come back out in the split back formation again. Darius Murray snaps the ball, handoff to number four. Ooh, tries to get the take edge. down the backfield. Tackle by number 79, Jeremiah Banks. A tackle for a loss. It's going to be a third down and 10. Right back to where they started, back on the 50. Great stop there by the Harm Hornets. Wallace Park wanting to answer quick here after that quick answer by the Harm Hornets. It's 8 to 0. Wallace Park comes back out. A little split back formation. Darius Murray under center. Snaps the ball. A fake. Oh, he swarmed. A great sack by number 22 for the Harlem Hornets. Chris Brown came on on a blitz there. Great stop by the Harlem Hornets. It's going to be a fourth and long. For the Wallace Park Falcons, it's going to be fourth and 16. That was a great stop there, Miles. Hey, 
see if they punt it away. Looks like they're keeping their offense out there. Darius Murray's back up under center. Oh, he fumbles the ball. It's going to be a turnover on downs. Hi, Moore's going to take the field on their opponent's 43-yard oh, line. Defense shows out. Hiram Horns came ready to play, Miles. Wallace Park, I don't know where they're at, but they're not here. Let's see what Hiram Horn comes comes out to play. Javin Watley, the quarterback for the Hiram Hornets, takes the field and shotgun. Looks like we have a bunch formation to the right. Wallace Park shifting that way. We have a screen. It passed the Water reading. Screen. Oh, a great block by Thomas. He flattens two people. First down and 10. Moving the ball with ease. Heim Hornets are moving the ball right down on the field again. Arm and shotgun again. We have a timeout again by Wallace Park. Defense looks tired. Harm Horns came ready to play today, Miles. Answering quick on both offensive possessions. Tom Horns come in after the timeout by Wallace Park Falcons. Go, go. <laughs> Number two, Javin Wally, quarterback, in shotgun. Since 15, Ashley in motion, hands the ball off. He comes to get the edge, puts a move. He's outside. tackled by a number. Oh, oh he breaks the tackle. Off. He He's cuts it back to the field. right. Oh, he's taking it down the field, down to the 20, makes a few more people miss. He's going to be taken down at the 18. Another ran about 80 yards down. for 12. Another first down for the Hiram Hornets. Great second effort there by Ashley, number 15, the slot receiver, Nakia Ashley. We have another overload set to the right, a little bunch formation, number five. Miles Redding in the back. Oh, they're looking deep to Thomas. He's wide open. A great throw oh, by John Wally, and it's right through his hands in the end zone. Great effort. Great throw by Javon Watley. It's going to be second down and 10 to go on their opponent's 17-yard line. Excuse me, 19 yard line. Javin Watley comes out and shotgun once again. Let's see if they take another shot downfield. They hand it off to Ashley. Oh, a big gaping hole to the left. He cuts it out. He breaks a few more tackles, and he's still driving the pile, and he's finally taken down on looks, his opponent's 11 like yard line. Just short of the first down. Just short. It's going to be third down and short. Maybe third down in inches. Third 
third down in inches. John Wiley lines up in the shotgun. He hands it off to number 21 to the right. Miles Campbell takes it. Oh, he will answer. score. Quick answer by the Heim Hornets. They go up 13 to zero. We'll be coming back out for their extra point here. They came ready to play, answering very fast with two possessions on offense and two scores. Wallace Park's Falcons defense looks kind of lost out there, Miles. What do you say? They do. They don't know where the ball's going. Hiram's keeping them on their heels. Hiram Hornets' offensive line is showing out, putting their hands and hat on everybody in the box, driving them back to the second line. Oh, there's a toss Ooh. to the left from Javon Watley to number 22. Chris Brown, and it's over his head on the two-point conversion there. They will fail for that. It's going to be 13-0. Heim Hornets lead early in the first quarter with four minutes and 43 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Heim Hornets will take the field at the 40-yard line, trying to put Wallace Park away fast and quick. Good job, McCaffrey. It's a great, great team we're watching here. I'm getting ready to kick it off. Let's see if they go the onside kick again. Number 48, Luke Tanner, seems to be the professional at that. Got the first one back with the second one. Almost. Forty-eight. Luke Tanner sets up the ball on the tee. Look like for another onside kick. Wallace Park adjusting their return team. Their return team to this onside. Oh, it's a good oh, one. Oh, it's a good one. It bounces off for Wallace recovers. Park. <laughs> Defender number fifty-eight, Glover, is recovered by Jaden Thomas, number three. His second recovery for the. Hiram Hornets, and the Hiram Hornets are coming out on their offense once again to look to score real early in the first quarter with four minutes and 43 seconds to go. It's 13 to zero. Wallace Park is down. Away quick. Hiram Hornets came ready to play. Number two, Javin Watley. The Hiram Hornets comes back out and shotgun. Number 21, Miles Campbell, is running back, set to the left of him, offset. They come out in a balanced shotgun formation. It's snapped. He rolls left. He looks deep. Oh, and it's a great play by number eight, Darius Murray. He plays both sides of the ball at quarterback and linebacker. Great play. Swats the ball. He had a man open down the field. Number five, Miles Redding. Look like they were about to go deep on that play. That would have been that taken to the house for another six. That would have been a big play there for the Hiram Hornets. Look like a pro style offense out here. We have another overload right. Snap to number six. We got a flag now. Marshall. He's running. He breaks a tackle and he gets to the 40. But it's going to be a. Penalty on the play. It's going to back the Harm Hornets up. Be a repeat of second down. It's going to be a legal shift on the Harm Hornets. It's going to be second down and 15. It's going to replay that down. Let's see what Harm Hornets come out on this next play. They might be looking deep. Looks like their wide receivers can get can get breaking loose and down the field or past these corners they have on the defense here. Number 21, Miles Campbell lines up in a wildcat formation, a little overload left, shifting around Hiram Hornets on the backfield. They snap the ball. 
It's a low snap. Miles Campbell Ooh, picks it up. Down the it took him down. A number eight, Murray. A number eight, Darius Murray. Great play by Darius Murray once again. It's going to be a loss for another five. It's going to be third down and 20 for the Hiram Hornets on their own 40-yard line. They go back to their regular formation with Javin Watley at quarterback. Looks like we have a timeout from Hiram. We have a timeout by the Hiram Hornets. With three minutes and 43 seconds to go in the first quarter. Wallace Park down 13-0. We're going to return back to play. Hiram Hornets come back out shotgun. A balanced shotgun formation. Number two, Javin Watley in shotgun. Number 21, Miles Campbell to the right of him, offset. Since number 12 in motion all the way across the formation, we have a trips right. Oh, he Ooh, fakes, fakes it. Great fake. Number two He's got to blockers. the outside. He has great blocks. And it's going to be a gain of 15 short of the first down. It's going to be a fourth down and six it's for the Hiram Hornets. At least it's manageable. Great play call and a great read by the quarterback there. He read that defensive end, and the defensive end took Miles Campbell. He pulls it for a gain of 14 on the play. Big play there for the Hiram Horn. It's going to be fourth down and six. They're going to keep their offense out on the field. Javin Wadley comes back out in shotgun with a split back formation behind him. He snaps the ball. He hands it off to Miles Campbell to the right, but number 42 gets off Ooh. a block and a great play by number 42 for Wallace Parks. Number named Chase Savage. Great play. It's going to be a turnover on downs. Wallace Parks offense come. Wallace Parks offense is going to take the field on the turnover on downs by the Hiram Hornets. It's going to be on their own 46 yard line. Darius Murray, the quarterback, takes under center once again with a split back formation with its running backs number four, Mario Jennings, and number 10, Justin Brown, trying to get something going for the Wallace Park Falcons. Darius Murray sends number 42 in motion. Oh, he breaks to the outside, breaks Ooh. the tackles. But Jaden Thomas, a deep cleat by number three for the Hiram Hornets with a loss of five. Looks like we have a flag on the play. It's going to be a false start on the yeah, Wallace Park Falcons. We're going to back them up five and be a replay of first down. Number 42, Chase Savage on the false start there. Wallace Park comes back under center. Darius Murray at quarterback. Split back formation, number four, Mario Jennings, and number 10, Justin Brown. Want to set something up for the offense here. We have a quick jump by the number one defensive end for the Harlem Hornets, Tyler Merriweather. 
I don't know. There might be. There's a flag on the play. There's gonna be another false start on the Wallace Park Falcons. It's gonna back them up another five yards. It's hard to drive with penalties like that. That's gonna kill our offense. It's gonna be third down. Third down and long. I think they declined it. Looks like a third down and 16. Heimhorn's declined that penalty. Darius Murray comes back out on the field for the Wallace Park Falcons. Number 42. See if they can get something going offensively. Chase Savage out wide to the right. Well, eye formation a little different here. Hands it off to number four for the Wallace Park Falcons. Mario Jennings, a gain of, it looks like, six. It's going to be fourth down and long, being a fourth down and 13. They keep their offense out on the field, trying to get something going here for the Wallace Park Falcons. It's hard to get that going with a defense like Hiram Hornets have. They are swarming to the ball and getting everywhere. We're going to get under the center by Darius Murray. It's a little QB sneak out to the right. He's going to be tackled by Jaden Thomas on their 47-yard line. Hiram Hornets going to take over. It was a fourth down. They did not. They were not able to convert. It's going to be turnover on downs, and it looks like they got great field position for the Hiram Hornets. Be See first and 10. Some more points on the board. 13 to 0 with a minute and 34 seconds left in the first quarter. Hiram Hornets will take the field on their opponent's 47 yard line. Number two, Javin Watley at quarterback. Since number 12 in motion, hands it off to him. He gets to the side, a great block. He cuts back to the left, and he's going to be tackled finally after getting the first down. He's going to be tackled down at the 35-yard line. Great run by number 12, K.J. Brown. This will be first down and 10 for the Hiram Hornets. Moving down the field, number two, Javin Watley at quarterback and shotgun. Hands the ball off to number 15. Ooh, Falls bobbled. the ball a little bit. Oh, he breaking a few tackles, just trying to fight back to get back to the line of scrimmage, and he does. It's going to be second down and 10. A great stop there by the Wallace Park Falcons. Look a little fumbled snap or a yeah. little handle there by Almost lost 15. The ball. Yes, he did. That could have been a big, crucial play for the Harm Hornets, even though they lead 13-0 here in the first quarter early. Number two, Javin Watley in shotgun for the Harm Hornets. They line up in their bunch formation to the right with number five, Miles Redding in the back. A little motion by number 12, Brown. We have a long Ooh. bomb to number 22. It's caught. It's going to be caught by Chris Brown. He's going to be tackled down at the five-yard oh. line. Great ball by number two, Javin Watley. That was a 30, 25, 30-yard 30 pass there. It was. Great ball by number two. Two, Javin Wally to number 22 on the connection, Chris Brown. Hiram Hornets moving the ball at will here. Number two, their quarterback, Javin Wally, gets the ball, hands off to Miles Campbell. He's going to be tackled by Wallace Park, number 52. Let's see here. We do not have a name. What a great play there by number 52 for the Wallace Park Falcons. Being able to stop them, it's going to be second down and goal. With five yards to go, we're going to have a timeout by the, yeah. by the Hornets. We'll get back to you as soon as we get done with this timeout.
We oh. resume back to play. Harm Start of the Hornets. second quarter. Harm Hornets take the field. Second and goal on their opponent's three yard line. Looking to punch it in here. Go up 20 to 0. 19. 19 to 0. If they make the extra point, they'll go up 20 to 0. Yes, they will. Number two, Javon Watley sends number 10 in motion to the left. He Rowling throws the ball out wide, wide to number and five, three. Miles Redding, and it just slips right through his hands. They had a play there. The outside was wide open. It's going to be... It's going to be third and goal. They're trying to punch it in here. They're playing like a pro-style team out here. Coming out with different formations, getting the Wallace Park back on their heels. Not knowing it's what working. to do. Working real well for them. I don't know what to expect. Number two, Javon Watley at quarterback. They get an overload left. It looks like it could be a quarterback sneak to the left. Number two, Javon Watley takes a snap. He keeps it to be. the left. Oh, and he makes a move, and he sticks it in for the touchdown. Great run there, and a great move there to put it in in the end zone. It's going to be 19-0 early in the first half. Second quarter, nine minutes and 53 seconds. See if they can get the extra point. They failed to do so on their last attempt. Going to a bubble screen left and it was overthrown by Javin Watley. They come out in the overset right again. Javin Watley sends number 12 Brown in motion, hands it off. He gets oh, the edge and there's a big gaping hole and he sticks it in. It's going to be 20 to 0 early. Early, early in this game. Nine minutes, 53 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Great play by Hiram Hornets. Coming ready to ball. Ball out and play. They're playing fast, physical, and to the point. As Ray Lewis best said. Wallace Park. All get together on the sideline, trying to talk over a game strategy to get their offense on the scoreboard. Luke Tanner, number 48, the kicker for the Hiram Hornets, sets his tee up and ball up on the 40-yard line, looking like another onside kick. They've recovered two out of three today. It's pretty good statistics. I'd keep going for it. Yeah, might as well. What do you got to lose? Two for three. Recovered by Jaden Thomas both times. He's balling out today. He's a monster. Ten years old and six foot seven almost. I'm just kidding. He's about 5'11, but he came ready to play. Number 48, Luke Tanner kicks the ball. Oh, it oh. goes right off the defender of Wallace Park. And it's recovered <laughs> by Hiram Hornets, number 10. For the Hiram Hornets, Alon Archer, great kick by Luke Tanner oh, once again. I know, I know. <laughs> Looks like these practicing is just practice uh, special teams a little bit more for Wallace Park would probably help him a little bit. What do you think, Miles? I reckon. No, I put mine through the end. Some of these high school teams might need to recruit Luke Tanner for their kicking game. Yeah. Might win them some games. Hiram Hornets offense confusing the Wallace Park Falcons defense. Sitting back on their heels, not knowing what's going on. They come in their bunch formation again to the left. Javon Watley at quarterback. You have number 22, Chris Brown in the back there. A little screen to the left. Oh, it's caught. He has a few blocks. He sets up, and he's going to get oh. tackled. Number three Wall by Wallace Park Falcons. 
who we have no name on, but a great play there by that cornerback weaving through the blocks to make that tackle for only a gain of four. It's going to be second down and six. Hard moving the ball well today. I'm telling you, it's, I mean, a pro style offense, it has to be. I mean, at this young age, they have to be doing something right. Number two. Oh, he gets Ooh, rushed. Stiff a great stiff arm on number 10. He gets out to the side. Chris Savage. Oh, and he gets stiff arm by going. number two. Still Jevin Watley. Great ball. run by Jevin Watley. Let's see where they mark Looked like it a designed oh, run there. Looked like a designed run there. A little fake to uh, pump left on the screen there, and he runs to the right. Great run. Which well has a little brother. <laughs> A few stiff arms there by Javin Watley. Number 10 on the initial tackle was pushed down. Justin Brown couldn't make the play there. Finally pushed out of Browns by a swarm of Wallace Park Falcons. Number 2, Javin Watley. They're throwing it and running the ball well today. Right. Yes, they are. Hard to stop both. The run sets up the pass. Get everybody in the box, and when they run so well, and they're right over top of them every play. Money. A false start on the Hiram Hornets. It's going to be first down and 15 from their opponent's 41 yard line. Looked like they set back to pass there. Number two, Javon Wiley, quarterback, sets back to pass again. Oh, and he's rushed, and then there's another flag thrown by the official. It's going to be a false start on the Iron Hornets once again. It's going to be first down and 20. Come on, refs, let's let them play. Iron Hornets came out so strong. Looks like they're slowing down a little bit. A little mental mistakes here we got going on in the second quarter with eight minutes and 32 seconds left to go. We have a timeout by the Hiram Hornets. Coach Thompson, offensive coordinator, wants to settle down his line to let them know we got to get this going. No more penalties. Two in a row. It's going to be a timeout. We're going to take a break here, and we'll get right back to you as soon as possible. I'm going to interview Miles, the kicker for East Paulding. They went up against Villarica last night with a great win, 38-0. to zero. What do you have to say about that game? Well, we started off slow, but you know how East Paul it is. We, we always pull up the W. What was the uh, score in the first half? 10-0. Uh, wow. Y'all are a dominant offense. What, what, what couldn't get going there? Uh, they had eight in the box, and it was hard to run over them. Big defense line. I understand. Yeah, I realized they had a number two. He's about 6'3", 260. Yeah, big Linebacker old boy. plays both ways. Yeah, he's a big old boy. Big old boy. He's on kickoff return, too. Yeah. He, did he return one on y'all last night? Yeah, unfortunately, my last one. Oh. So, you did, so you're so you the kicker, right? You kick it in the end zone every time? or? Oh, that's my goal. That's your goal? Yeah. That's good. That's good. You got anybody looking at you? Uh, yeah, I was actually visiting Georgia Southern last weekend. Okay, okay. Good deal. We're going to resume back to play here with Hiram Hornets up 20 to 0 on Wallace Park Falcons. Javin Wally sends number 10 in motion. Looks like a fake pass. Oh, and he gets swarmed in the backfield by Wallace Park Falcons with a tackle by number 10, Justin Brown, with the initial attack. It's going to be a loss on the play. It's going to be second down and long. Looks like second down wow. at 20. Second and 24. We have a long ways to go. Let's see what Hiram Horn is planning on coming out. And another play. 
Jaden Thomas, a very explosive player on the offense for this team, sets out wide right. Number two, Javon Watley in the shotgun with a balanced shotgun formation. He rolls right. He looks deep for number three, Jaden Thomas. He throws it deep. Jaden Thomas a makes a great catch. What a catch by Jaden Thomas. He'll be on the 25-yard line. Our cameraman can get on it. Randy's slacking on us today. Be a first down and ten. A great throw by Javon Wally once Good again. Boys. What a great acrobatic Bring catch by Jaden Thomas. Number two, Javon Wally says number 15. Ashley in motion hands it off to Miles Campbell. He's tackled immediately in the backfield by number 50, 42, Chris Savage. Check that. That was a number 57, Terrence Hudson, on the initial contact tackle for a loss. It's going to be a second down and 11. They come back out in the bunch formation to the left. Once again, they have Jaden Thomas in the back this time. Javin Watley set back in shotgun, sends Ashley in motion, snaps the ball, he rolls right, oh, he fakes the pop, oh, oh and 57, Terrence Hudson makes a great play, he swats the ball right out of Javin Watley's hands, it's going to be a fumble, what a great play, Wallace Park finally waking up, they're ready to come play and give this Hiram Hornets offense and defense a little scare here. It's about it's second quarter with six minutes and 40 seconds left to go. Hiram Hornets lead 20 to zero. Wallace Park wanting to score. A great play by Terrence Hudson. A few missed assignment blocks on that play as it was a pump fake to Jaden Thomas. They were looking deep on the play. Had someone open, but he didn't have enough time to throw the ball there, Miles. Blocking. Blocking is key. Blocking is key to on offense. Without blocking, you can't move the ball. And that's exactly been right. seemed to be the point today against Wallace Park. Hiram Hornets defense has been swarming to the ball, and they seem not to be able to block him today. Darius Murray lines up in shotgun against the Hiram Hornets. The new formation. Oh, they set back the throw, and he Ooh, gets rushed. Right. Oh, he runs to the right. Oh, a great little lick there. I don't know if you heard the pop, but we sure did up here. It's going to be second down and nine. A great run by Darius Murray there. A little chin strap popping off, and a great tackle by number 22, Chris Brown. It's going to be a grain of, gain of three, yeah, second and seven. A grain of three. <laughs> it's going to be a gain of three, second and seven. The Wallace Park Falcons with six minutes and eight seconds left to go in the second quarter. Yeah, the timeout. Looks like Murray Darius ain't. Murray was whoa, shaking up on that play. That was a big hit. Like I said, we heard it up, up all the way up here in the press box. He might be seeing stars. He might be. That was a great hit by Chris Brown. They bring in number two, Wiggles. A little confusion of the Wallace Park Falcons offense. Number four, Mario Jennings goes over to the sideline to get the play. He comes in at quarterback, replacing Darius Murray after that. Rough hit there. They come out and shotgun. Mario Jennings will take the snap. Run left. A QB sneak. Oh, and he is tackled immediately by a swarm of Hiram Hornets. Initial tackle by number 79 on the defensive line, Jeremiah Banks. And then gang tackle by number one, Tyler Merriweather. It's going to be third down and six to go on their own 41-yard line. Number 12 for the Falcons. Oh, excuse me, number 42 will take the 
shotgun snap. With the celebration and, and everything. And he is immediately Randy tackled in one. the backfield by number 79 for the Hiram Hornets, Jeremiah Banks, and he gives us a little celebration of Cam Newton. That was a great play there by Jeremiah Banks. He fourth and long. He went from a third down and six to a fourth and 12. A great play by Jeremiah Banks there. He was not touched. Immediately knocked down in the backfield. Number 42 set back in the shotgun. It looks like they're punting Chase Savage back to punt. He kicks, oh, and it's going to be blocked right back into Chris Savage. Chase Savage, excuse me, it's going to be blocked by number seven for the Hiram Hornets. Sean Smith and number 20, Dylan Hampton. A great play by the Hiram Hornets. They'll be getting the ball on their opponent's 30-yard line to start off. In the second quarter, four minutes and 19 seconds to go. Great play. Hiram Hornets came ready to play. Wallace Park's offense can't seem to get nothing going here. They can't. Hiram's defense is playing lights out. Oh, Toss to Jaden Thomas. A good block. Oh, oh and they flag. throw a penalty flag. He's still running. He finally gets tackled on his opponent's 17-yard line. It looks like we have a block in the back on Hiram Hornets by number By number six, Jalen Marshall. Try to give a good block out there for Jaden Thomas as he cut it up, took it to the opponent's 17, but they're going to be backed up from the 30 to the 40. That's going to be a replay of first down. It's going to be first and 20 on the Wallace Parks defense 40-yard line. Javin Watley lines back up in the shotgun. For the Hiram Horns, he gets the play from the sideline. Miles Redding and the rest of his crew line up far right. A little overset to the right, number six, Jalen Marshall in a wildcat formation. Gets the ball, takes it to the right. He has a wall, and he takes it to the side. He gets out to the outside and makes a great move, and he fumbles the ball on the 30-yard line. It's going to be turnover on downs. It was... Recovered by number three of Wallace Park, Lynn Swinney. Football. Wow, this has been a defensive game in the yeah, second been. quarter. Hiram came out quickly in the first quarter, answering 20 to zero. But Wallace Park's defense is trying to make a stand to give the offense every opportunity they can. Let's see if the Wallace Park Falcons offense can get anything going. Number eight, Darius Murray, who shook him up on the last series of the offensive play, is back out on the field at quarterback. A little change in formation. We're in shotgun, overload right, trips right. Darius Murray gets a snap. He takes it oh, to the right. Oh, and he's going to pass, but he's going to be sacked for a loss of eight. It's going to be second down and... 16, excuse me, he lost a six. He'll be swarmed by number 79 and seven again. 79, Jeremiah Banks, and number seven, Sean Smith having a heck of a game on that in defensive front. Wallace Park calls a timeout frustrated with the offensive line not being able to block anybody today as Hiram Hornets are able to seep through every play. We're going to take a time out here and take a break. We'll be back with you.
play. Wallace Park Darius Murray, the quarterback, is back in. Lined up in shotgun. We have a trips right. We have a blown whistle. We're not back. More confusion on the field. Looks like the ref wants to ensure everybody's safety. and looks like somebody's helmet was not snapped. We're having a problem here. Looks like their guard, their right guard, has a problem with equipment here. They're calling out the Wallace Park's coach to check and see if everything's all right over here. We got to ensure everybody's safety in this game of football. It's a tough game in a man sport, you know. People can get hurt. Looks like they're changing out his chin strap. They're going to take him off the field. I have to make a substitution for number 58. He has to come off the field. Andre Glover. Andre Glover has to come off the field. He has a equipment issue. Number 28, Charles Pitts comes in for him, and so does 57 goes out as well. Looks like he had an equipment issue. Problem number 60, Chase Williams comes in for him. A split guard and split tackle. Darius Murray rolls right. He looks. He throws the ball. He has someone open. But Jaden Thomas makes a great play on the ball. Interception. And INT for Jaden Thomas. He is balling out today. He's playing fast, physical, and to the point today, Miles. It's going to be interception by Jaden Thomas. And he's going to return his offense back onto the opponent's 35-yard line. Hiram's bringing the pressure. Murray's not able to have time to sit in the pocket and throw it. Made him make a quick decision. It was a wrong decision. It was. Sure was. Great play by Jaden Thomas. Playing like a high school. Stud. I mean, goodness gracious. Great play there. He's going to be one watch. We might see him on Friday nights and then Saturday nights and then maybe Sunday nights. You never know. You never know. He might play on Monday or Thursday. Are you? Friday. Uh, you know. He's playing Saturday he's be, now. They go deep. deep. Oh, oh, he's wide open. Wally pops There's and he brings it back and he Marshall finds someone wide open. Number six, Taylor Marshall. Touchdown. He gets down to the touchdown. The end zone. Great play by Jalen Marshall. Wow. Javin Watley was a pump. He didn't see the guy there. Then he said, oh, no. He outruns the corner. And there he is. He throws the ball all the way down the field from the 35-yard line pass. That was a great, great play by the Hiram Hornets. Hiram Hornets are ready to put this team away going into the third quarter. We still have three minutes left to play in the second quarter. It's 26-0. Wallace Park didn't come ready to play today. They must have stayed up late last night playing some video games. I don't know. Hahn goes for an extra point, handoff to Ashley. Got it. He doesn't even get touched. He could walk into the end zone. Wallace Park looks just beat up and tired. Three minutes left to go in the second quarter. It's going to be 27 to 0. Hahn Hornets lead Wallace Park Falcons. It's going to be the game of the week by NWGYFL. Great game here. All right, see the onside kick. Looks like they've been a great team of onside kicks today. It's been a three of four. They've recovered two by Jalen Thomas and one by number 10 of the Hiram Hornets, Alon Archer. They are, came ready to play. Great kicks by Luke Tanner, Miles. I mean, you must have been teaching them something. No. Nope. If y'all didn't know, I'm here with the famous kicker from East Paulin who kicks it through the uprights from the 40 every time he gets up there. Luke Tanner set back for a Hiram Hornets ready to kick another onside. Wallace Park finally adjust to the ball, but they have a wide open hole in the 
middle of this middle of it. The ball is kicked, not as so right, hard. It's recover finally recovered time. by Wallace Park by number 10, Justin Brown. Exactly three minutes ago, before half. It's been an outstanding game by the Hiram Hornets. They've led in all places of the. Guess he swallowed a tongue. <laughs> Excuse me there, but they've led in all offense, defense, special teams. They've done everything they can today. Wallace Park comes out and shotgun Darius Murray back and shotgun his quarterback. It's gonna be snapped. Ooh, he snap. the ball. He picks up, picks it up, and runs straight through the middle. He's finally tackled by number 15 of the Hiram Hornets. Nakia Ashley. Unfortunately, that might have been their best play of the day. Correction, Nakai Ashley tackled there. Made the tackle on Darius Murray after the fumbled snap. Wallace Park looking to move the ball. It's going to be second down and seven, a gain of three there. Snap the ball and shotgun. Bad snap by the center. High and low. Once again, Banks back there gets pressure on the quarterback. Reminds me of the recruit for Vanderbilt for East Paul. Darius Banks. Darius Banks. They have the same last name that and everything. And he's, brother. You never know. He's balling out today. Yeah. The defensive line playing great for the defense here today. They haven't been able to get nothing going. Wallace Park. They've been sacked or lost, lost every time. That man will get nothing going. <laughs> they have a penalty here. Looks like they had 12 people on the field. A legal substitution <laughs> here. Trying to do everything it takes to get on the scoreboard here, but... They were caught. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying, you know. <laughs> they were caught. They finally get a good snap. He passes the ball out to oh. number 42, Chase Savage. It was thrown in front of him. It's going to be incomplete pass. Number 10 for the Hiram Hornets. Those Hornets Long are Archer there. was right there, ready to make the play, even if he caught the ball. This defense of theirs is swarming to the ball. Wherever the ball is, that's where they're at. We have a minute and 44 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Looks like they're going to punt the ball away. It's going to be a fourth down and long, be fourth down and 15. Oh, another one. Murray's on Darius the center. Murray under the center, hands off to Chase Savage. Oh, He's tackled by 15 to Kai Ashley. Ball comes loose, but they rule him down. Great play. Back. Looked like the ball squirted out there. It did. It's going to be a minute and 37 left in the second quarter. Hiram Hornets take over on their opponents. Trying to put some more points on the board before They're half. trying. They're going to take over on their own opponent's 43-yard line. A great play by Nakai Ashley there. Stuffed Chase Savage in the backfield. Great play on the turnover and downs. Javin Watley comes out. Had quarterback and shotgun once again. About a this young quarterback formation. Today. Three touchdowns already. First three, half. Three touchdowns. They are ready Probably over 100 yard more. passing. Another Mitchell Webb out there on the field. If y'all don't know who Mitchell Webb is, he's a great quarterback at East Paul. There he goes again. And it's caught. Wow, what a throw Probably by Javon Wally. 16. From the 43 down to the 15-yard line, a 16-yard line, a great throw. Great throw by Javon Watley. Number two, who goes by Nunk Nunk, the quarterback, hands off the ball to Nakai Ashley. Oh, he's got a great move. Side. 
He gets to the outside, and he's tackled number finally by number four, Mario Jennings, and they're going to take it down to the 11 with a minute and nine seconds left in the second quarter with clock running. They're hurrying up to the line. Nunk, nunk. Nickname for Javin Watley. Hands off the ball to the right to Jalen Marshall, number six, and he is tackled on the nine-yard line. Timeout high. They have a timeout high. They're wanting to score here before the half to go up 33-0. to zero. How about Minnie Webb today? Like I was saying before he threw that great pass there, Mitchell Webb is not being able to be with us today. He's in LSU. He's a great quarterback over at East Paulding, but... Don't forget Holder. Oh, yeah, and a great holder for our uh, one and only Miles here. Does a great job there. How about your two TD receptions last night? I have nothing to say except uh, we lost, so it wasn't good enough. All right, touche. <laughs> it wasn't good enough. We came short. Uh, South Palm playing out of tune at 28-14. We're losing 14 to zero in the first half. We come back in the second half, 14 to 14. And I thought you had nothing to say. I just want to tell you that <laughs> you know it's it's rough. It's rough. It's a rough, rough, rough. Well, I'm rooting for those county teams, though. Man, rough life. I don't know about it. Man, I know y'all are five and zero. Oh. East Palm's five and zero, oh, and South Palm's two and two. Looking to. Win every game, come to East Pauling to try to get the upper hand here in the division. We're going to return back to play. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to return back to play. Jalen Marshall in the Wildcats snaps the ball. He runs to the right. He has great blocking on the outside. He gives a stiff arm, a great effort, and, and he sticks it into the end zone. A great touchdown run oh, by Jalen Marshall. It's going to be 45 seconds left to go in the second quarter. It's going to be 33-0. to zero. A great run there. Looks like Hiram's coming back out for an extra point here for one. Javon Watley hands off the ball to Miles Campbell. He gives a stiff arm. Oh, oh, he's in. oh, and he sticks it in for the extra point. It's going to be 34 to 0 in the second quarter. Still time to go, too. You 45 know seconds. On it. The way they've been playing today, they might be able to get another touchdown after this onside kick they're about to kick here. Javin Wally, number two, goes by Nunk Nunk, has been having great throws today, setting up this offense and getting them in the end zone five times today. Great play by the Harm Horns. We have 45 seconds left in the first half. Wallace Park's offense is wanting to get something going, but the Harm Hornets defense is too much for them. Luke Tanner, number 48 for the Harm Hornets, the kicker, sets up his ball for another onside kick. They've gotten three out of five today. Great percentage, 60% on getting onside kicks back. Why not keep trying? Wallace Park's return team adjusts to the onside kick, moving everybody to the right. Be they smart to a, put one through the middle. They have a gaping hole in the middle, and they finally fill it in with number 53 for the Wallace Park Falcons, Kendall, Ken, Kendon Arnold. Here, he kicks the ball. It's going to be onside. He drops the ball, but they finally fall on it. Wallace Park gets the ball. Number Eight, Darius Murray making a big play for them, not letting Heim Horns cover that ball. Maybe have another opportunity to go up 40 to zero here. We have 42 seconds left in the first half. It's 34 to zero. Heim Horn at Leeds Wallace Park. It's been a dominant game by the Heim Hornets, hasn't it, Miles? It has been. We'll see.
see what Darius Murray and the Wallace Park Falcons come out and see if they want to put some points on put the some board. points on the board. Just take it into the half and regroup and come back out and see if they can put some points up on the board. Forty-two seconds remaining in the half. There's Murray sends Chase Savage in motion. Hands off to number four. Jennings has a gaping hole. Oh, he oh. bounces it back outside. But he's swarmed by Hiram Hornets. Tackled by number 32. A big kid he is. Jackson Price. Great play there. 20 seconds left to play in this first half. And the clock winding down. Looks like the Wallace Park Falcons are going to wind it out and try to. I think they're just going to let this one go and try let to this regroup, one go in the and regroup, regroup in the second half. Been a dominant play by the Hiram Hornets. 2 1 0. Let's now we'll con con conclude con our con first half. Hiram Hornets lead the Wallace Park. Falcons 34 to 0. We'll be back with you shortly after all this break. Second down at 14. For the Wallace Park Falcons. Murray, the quarterback. Number two comes in motion, stops. Lines up, going to do some nice blocking. Stokes with the ball. Going to be hit in the backfield by number 12 for the Hiram Hornets. Once again, it's going to be a loss of about five yards on that play. Thanks to K.J. Brown, number 12. And it will be third down for the Wallace Park Falcons. So third and almost 20. Third and 17, just as good as 20. And here comes Wallace Park. Looking a little bit tired right now. These guys have been on the field most of the day. Most of these guys play offense and defense. Number eight, Murray, your quarterback. One man in the backfield, all by himself. He'll have a whole bunch of hornets on him in just a second. Murray takes off. Murray's got some room. Murray's going to go around the near side. He's got a whole bunch of purple guys chasing him. And Murray finally got knocked out of bounds on the, about the 45-yard line. Nice run by Murray. That's probably the third biggest play of the game for the Wallace Park Falcons. Murray, number eight, limping a little bit as he walks back to the, to the huddle. Murray got a lot of that yardage back, but it's going to be fourth down to four. Fourth and four for the Wallace Park Falcons. Don't forget, you can check out the other TV box and see this 10-year-old Harlem Hornet team. Wallace Park, under center, number eight, Murray. He looks over there to throw, got a man wide open. Murray can't throw. He's got too many Hornets on him, and he's going down. Hampton, number 20, Hampton. For the Hiram Hornets, Dylan, he's all pumped up. Dylan Hampton looks like uh, Gerald Riggs for the Falcons a little bit. Back in the day, Gerald Riggs, well-built, short and stocky, looks a little bit like Hampton. Hiram Hornets take over on downs now. First and ten, Hiram Hornets. Everybody's hollering for the offense. I think they're celebrating. Here they come. Offense coming to the field now for the Hiram Hornets. Big Smith. Big number 24, Jones. And finally, number 48, Tanner's coming into the game for the Hiram Hornets as they all check the wristbands, making sure they're working good. Number five, your Hiram Hornet quarterback is going to be Miles Redding. Got Jalen Thompson back there with him. Jaden's back there. And Redding's going back to throw. He's going to be hit hard, and he's going to be brought down for a loss. 
going to be lost about eight yards. Big number 42 Stokes on that. Also for the Wallace Park Falcons, he comes up holding his elbow, number 57. That's Hudson. And they finally threw the Harlem Hornets back about eight yards, maybe nine. And it will be second down along for the Harlem Hornets, leading the game 42 to nothing with five minutes and 54 seconds left in the ballgame. Got a new quarterback back there, number 12, K.J. Brown in the house. K.J.'s doing his thing, been a good ball player today. He's back there all by himself. He's probably going to run the ball to the right side. There he goes, K.J. Brown. He breaks one tackle and brought down by two other guys. Might have wished he brought down by one guy instead of the other two, but that's okay. He did his thing. K.J.'s going around the far side. Got about three yards on that carry. So it is now going to be third down and third down and about 18. Third and 18 for the Hornets. They're calling number two. Or either he's a very peaceful guy calling peace signs. Not sure. Got big Luke Tanner out there telling everybody number two. Got everybody. Got a wide out to the right. We got an off balance line way out there on the short side of the field. Number five, Reddy gets hit in the backfield. He breaks a tackle. He's breaking another tackle. And finally brought down by a whole bunch of Falcons flying on those Hornets. That's going to make it fourth down now for the Hiram Hornets. Fourth down and double chains. It's going to be fourth and 20. Looks like the Harlem Hornets are trying a few new plays just to get a little more variety in their repertoire. Campbell comes in, big number 21 for the Hornets. There goes number six coming in, Marshall. Where's he at? He was sleeping on the sidelines. I think his mama was talking to him. Marshall's mama talking to him, kept him off the field. We got timeout. Hornets. Hornets take a timeout. They're going to talk about it. 42 to nothing. Harlem Hornets right now. I think to be ranked in that board to compete ranking, state rankings, you must have to have a whole bunch of points because everybody wants to get a lot of points. So it's probably based on points, maybe based a little on competition. As the Harlem Hornets are going to set up here momentarily, they're going to run a, they have a timeout, and the offensive coordinator, Thompson, is going to go over a little play over here on the sideline. <coughs> and he's got his team set now. They're all ready. They went through the little extra day of, extra second of coaching from Coach Thompson who has done a great job with this offensive Harlem Hornets. And here we go. It's a long snap. It's going to be a kick. It's going to be a nice kick. Back deep for the Harlem, uh, for the, for the Falcons is going to be number eight. If I can find him on my camera. There he goes. Number eight, Murray. He's going to be knocked out of bounds by a bunch of Hornets. Murray's a good little ball player for the Wallace Park Falcons. He's been offense, defense. Been all over the field today, and we do have an injured player for the Wallace Park Falcons as we come on to check out this little guy. Nine-year-old play uh, game of the week. Heim Hornets, Wallace Park Falcons. It's like number four, Jennings, is a little injured. These teams have... Uh, Wallace Park team's been taking some licks tonight. But they seem to be doing pretty good. Jennings going off on his own will. Off the sidelines. Got a little, little, they got a little broken rib or sore rib. Maybe not broken. Sorry about that. A sore rib for Jennings. 
as we go out here now and get ready for some offense from the Wallace Park Falcons. Three minutes and 31 seconds left in this ball game. Wallace Park's bringing their team in. We got a quarterback's going to be Murray again. Murray's done a great job with the Wallace Park Falcons. He's got his guy set, two guys in the backfield. Here's a snap. Murray's going to hand off to 42. Stokes going around the far side. Stokes finds a little bit of hole before he is hit by some Hornets. Stokes got about four or five yards on that carry before he is finally brought down by the big man, Banks, number 79. 79 Banks all over the field today. Moves around real mobile for a big guy. Banks don't, Banks, somebody forgot to tell Banks how big he is. Because he moves around like he weighs about 20 pounds. So here we go, we're back ready now. We got the, Murray's the quarterback. Got a guy coming out in motion. Here's Murray. Gonna, oh, where'd my guy go? There it was, he's gonna be a busted play and he's gonna be Brought down in the backfield, missed tackle by number 12 for the Hornets, K.J. Brown. And Murray had nowhere to go, had a busted play in the backfield. And he is down. Murray, great little ball player for these Wallace Park Falcons. Looks like he might have a little sore leg. Probably needs a trainer to come out there. Rub it down for him a little bit. He'll be all right. They need Murray the last two minutes of this game. Murray's been a great ball player for the Wallace Park Falcons. Clemens and Pitts looking on. Arnold looks on. Glover wanting his man to stand up, and he's up. Murray's up. He's being carried off the field by Coach. Murray may be hurt a little more than what we first thought about, but we'll check him out and see how he's going to be doing over there. Number three comes into the game for the Wallace Park Falcons. That's Lynn Swinney, Jr., or make that Lynn Swinney the fourth. Coming in for the Wallace Park Falcons. Murray's being checked out on the sidelines. I think he's going to be all right. Hiram used to have a fence on the sideline like you was a prisoner. That fence is not there no more. They had the world's tallest sideline fence on that visitor sideline over there, but they took it down. Looks very nice. Quarterback keeper for the Port of Wallace Park Falcons, and he's going to be thrown around and brought down about eight yards back. It's going to be fourth down now for the Falcons. The new quarterback is number 10. That's Justin Brown. Number two goes off to check things out. Maybe he's checking on his man, Murray. He's checking in with the coach. All right, we got a minute, 19 seconds left. The clock is running. It's a running clock when you get 40 or 30 or more points in the second half. And we have 42 points. Running clock. Wallace Park Falcons under center. Here he comes. He's coming around this side, number 42. He's going. And he is brought down by the Hiram Hornets, number 15. For about a yard loss, that's going to be... Nakai, Nakai, Nakai Ashley, number 15. Had a little jersey change number going on. That's okay. And that's going to be the ball game. 40 seconds left to go, and that's going to be the end of the ball game. I hope that my man over on the sidelines is okay. See if we can get a shot over there and see how he's doing. Mr. Murray played a great ball game today. His teammates are over checking on him. Looks like they're putting a little ice on Murray's knee. And he's smiling a little bit. I think he thinks the ice is cold. So he's going to be all right. That's the end of this nine-year-old ball game.
Hiram Hornets, nine-year-olds, 42, Wallace Park Falcons, zero.